Stop letting what you've gone through determine where you're going. Hey you guys, my name is Stella Williams and I've been baptized. I am so excited to make this video. Uh, really, honestly, the fact that I'm on the same channel and have gone from how to ride a guy to here's my baptism story is blowing my mind. And that's kind of just like the central theme of God will use anyone, loves everyone, and you're never too far from grace and from glory and from unconditional love. And I have such a testimony to share with you guys. I have like a little vlog of, you know, my day. Good morning, guys. It is 7.30 on a Sunday and I'm going to go serve. I'm like on, a, on the social media volunteer team at church, but I'm getting baptized today. I'm very excited. Um, so I was thinking about baptism, but I grew up Catholic. And if you grew up Catholic, then you know, like it's a one and done deal. It's a very big deal when you're a baby and then you're kind of like set for life. Well, um, I go to a non-denominational church and it's not even like, I just learned yesterday, you can get baptized as many times as you want just for like cleansing and renewal. But I haven't been baptized since I was a baby and I just really love the idea of going through that and just like, just this walk I've had with God this year and last year and the year before, I would say since 2021, it just feels like it's time, but I waited until God told me. So my man, planted the seed because he helps with baptisms at church and I was like no like I'm not ready blah 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 or like I told him how I feel I'm like I feel like it's a one and done deal and then I was like but I'll pray on it and then I started praying on it and then um all my friends from church are like you know I thought about you at bat when I was baptized like doing baptisms and then I got like the clearest sign from God yesterday so I'm very very excited to uh, go through baptism today so let's go Sorry, I'm excited. Lisa made me this little thing. I the... Yummy. They love treats. <laughs> Every time I see Lisa's water bottle, I just need to get to Lisa's level. And I'm just not there yet. It's fully full. It's fully full. So. No, like I just, like I thought I was doing something. <laughs> we puddles outside. We outside. Hey, Lisa. Hey, we outside. <laughs> So every time we come in here, it's the runway music, and I just shut the whole time. Yes, give it. Yes, yes. yes. We're gonna go greet people. Let's hit it. Just got out of service. Got my baptism bag. Very excited. I think I'm gonna make a call. There's no sugar-free creamer, so probably not. Let's see. Mm, no, there's not. So I'm probably gonna skip coffee. And I already had one, so let me not. OD. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you say to me something that says students next to it, you let me know. But I'm looking for your own. Student creative, there it is. So I'm going to add this. Someone gave me this cover. I should probably wash the straw.
I'm just very, very excited to just share my experience and be used in this way. Put my shames down about things I've gone through or my fears down about my judgments that I may receive and just say, hey, like this is my story. The number one thing that impacted me making this video is realizing, I think a lot about my channel too is like, in growing my confidence. If you guys remember, if you're an OG and you remember back when I first started and my confidence maybe wasn't so hot and I was learning how to be confident with who I am and my body and just my where I was in life. It took me a long time to realize the impact I had on you guys because I was learning it myself. So in my head, it didn't make sense. It's how could I give people confidence when I don't even have all the confidence I wanna have and said, wait a minute, just because you're experiencing and learning, it doesn't mean you're not helping others along that same journey who may be exactly where you are too. And I'm having that same deja vu with my walk with God. Seven is a year of completion. And I don't think it's ironic that in my seventh year of doing this wonderful career that I'm going through this next phase. It required me to maybe pull back from the internet a little bit, which kind of started around my sex series and just really evaluating me, my morals, my values, who I am as a woman, what I care about. Because you guys have seen every part of the journey, I was screaming I love Jesus even when making these videos and even when screaming sex, sex, sex and putting everything out online, I was still screaming I love God because I did. I didn't understand my walk yet. I didn't understand what was happening. I couldn't fully like frontal lobe develop understand the what I was doing in relation to my walk with Christ. I've surrendered everything and worked through everything I've done. I've said how I've made people feel good, bad, how I've impacted with just words, how I've had riches and all these material things. And none of that compares. And none of none of that compares. Um, I'm not here to condemn anyone who doesn't. I understand that there are a variation of people who watch my channel of different backgrounds, religions, races, identities. This is just for the people who want to hear it. And if you are one of those people, wonderful. Um, I'm not here to condemn anyone who doesn't believe in what I believe in. I say that to say, you just never know how you're going to be used. So today I want to talk a little bit about my baptism, how I got there. And hopefully, ins I, I don't even want to say hopefully inspire. I'm happy to say I have inspired people to not only get back into church, but to rediscover their love for God. Because how, when I posted my baptism photos, that was not the intention. The intention was not to be like, oh, I wanna get you guys back in church. It was just me sharing my story, kind of like just with the confidence. And to see comments like, I've been wanting to go to the church you go to, Union, hey, shout out. I've been wanting to go to the church you go to, maybe this is my sign, or maybe this is my sign to get baptized, or maybe this is my sign to, you know, talk to God. I was used to do that. The girl <laughs> who has said the craziest things the girl who has posted the craziest things, who's been dang near almost starting an OnlyFans, that girl is the girl bringing people back to God. How? <laughs> How? And for me, it's such a testimony because I'm a firm believer in all things work for your good. And I think a lot of these practices that started with words I would use as spirituality or meditation, I have found to become rooted in God. As you guys know, I've done tarot readings with my family on this channel um, because that's something I used to believe in. And January 2021, 2022, I decided to completely stop getting readings done. And now the girl who went from how to ride a guy is now practicing purity with her man until marriage and has entered a godly relationship with intention of marriage. Like so much has changed in such a short amount of time, I would like to think. But it's just when I reflect and as I reflected on this video before actually making this video, it wasn't a short amount of time. And I could see seeds that were planted. And, and I, was, I was even praying this morning, like, God, did you know when I was making that video, like I'd be baptized in 2023? Like, did you know years ago when I made that video that I would be used in this way? And it's like, yes, yes, yes. Like I knew these things about you before you knew about yourself. And I think it's so beautiful. So I want to talk a little bit about my baptism specifically because I grew up Catholic. And if anyone is Catholic that watches this video or believes in Catholicism, um, I stepped away from the Catholic church in college because I felt more at home at a non-denominational church. I, I discovered worship that is not something we really practiced in Catholic church. And I joined um, San Marcos Community College in Texas and it would changed my life. That church led me to Los Angeles, led me to my modeling clear career, led me to leave working for the government, working for the IRS. It led me to go start this crazy journey that you guys have been watching the seven years. Couldn't really find a church home in LA. And then I ended up finding the Warren's church, Pastor Warren and Erica Campbell's church. Um, found God in LA through that church. It was beautiful. Left when I left LA. Uh, when I moved to Maryland, I 
tried a lot of churches and struggled a lot finding a church home here. What I want to say is like, I'm really glad I did. I think it's so special to find a place that you align with and you call home. And for Union, that was for me. You know, I did try a lot of churches while I was here and I just wasn't vibing. I, because I grew up Catholic, I was baptized as a baby. Like it was like the Catholic thing is like one and done essentially. Like if you're baptized once, you're good for life, which I still kind of agree with. My partner right now actually planted the seed of baptism because he volunteers with the church as well. He's on a dream team. He had planted this seed. He was like, you know, have you been baptized? I was like, I was baptized as a baby. He's like, what about your choice as an adult? And I was like, hmm. I was like, I really appreciate you like bringing this to my attention, but I'm like kind of, my beliefs are just one and done. And I was like, but I will take the seed you have. And I did say that to him. It's so embarrassing. My friends make fun of me for saying, they're like, you're going to take his seed. I'm like, I know how that sounds. So it's kind of a running joke with my family or my friends, but my friends are family. And I said, yeah, I'm going to take the seed and pray on it because I've been thinking about baptism since I joined union. I just felt like one and done. Like I can't get rebaptized baptized like that's kind of fake like I just didn't understand what it meant to choose it as an adult like to me it didn't matter because again my Catholic belief was you're good um it's so odd because the same day this happens one of my really dear friends Lisa had also brought up baptism to me the same day and I was like that's so weird like the seed was just planted and this was maybe like I want to say two months ago around two months ago and since then I've been like god like I've been praying on it not hearing anything not hearing anything not hearing anything and this part I believe in signs I believe God will provide signs so angel number specifically maybe not so much anymore but I do believe that God will put things in your life that you look for to confirm to you and I was on my way I host a hiking group with my church right now and I was on my way to my first hike and the irony of this is I was going to the wrong location and had no idea and I'm still praying I knew baptisms were happening on the June 11th I knew they happened once a month the second Sunday or yeah, second Sunday every month, I knew this was happening. And I was like, okay, God, like I really wanna get baptized. So all last week, I'm really feeling it. By Thursday, I was literally gonna press submit. I was like, God, like entering just this really beautiful relationship and entering like where I am in my walk with you. I just really wanna get baptized, but I have not heard you say yes. That's all I needed to say. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I had church groups all those days. And it's so weird how people will bring up baptism to me. My friend, Lisa on Friday, I was telling her, I was like, yeah, I've been getting these signs, like maybe to do baptism, but I just still haven't heard yes. And she's like, well, I signed up for baptism. And the irony is when I was doing it, I was thinking about you. And I was like, huh, maybe I'll pray on that a little more. Again, this is the day after I was going to submit to do it. And then Saturday, I hosted my hiking group. And this is where it was like, yes, I was driving again to the wrong location. Everyone was going to the right location. I was going to the wrong location. And I'm praying, I'm just driving and I'm praying, not even about baptism, just praying in general like the group goes well like give me the courage to host a group i'm nervous that's scary to me leading people in their walk with christ is scary and very new to me and i had a fleeting thought on the highway it's like man maybe, i was like should i get baptized tomorrow and i look up and at the big sign that's like minutes to wherever hold on i gotta throw the ball for Brooklyn. when it's like minutes to wherever it was literally one 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 two 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 and then what were the last two numbers two six i was like i literally went and I just started busting out laughing and just crying. I was like, okay, God, like I need it. Like I need God and God knows this about his child. I need you to scream it in my face. Yes. I feel like the no's, I say this all a lot too. I feel like the no's a lot of times are loud, but I need the yeses to be just as loud. And I felt like it was a sign and God spoke to me in that moment. And I felt so much power in that moment. Like, okay, like this is what we're doing. That's what I needed to say yes to this commitment. You know, I had a conflict too. You guys have seen my relationships too. And I used to have a struggle with idolizing relationships, marriage, children, and just really working through that. God 2023 specifically has taught me how to put him above anything I could receive on this earth, riches, wealth, a man, kids, marriage, any of the material earthly things. And through that process, and one day, hopefully, I would love to share a testimony after I already told him. I was like, I'm not sharing our story until after marriage. And that was advice from a friend at church, too. And I really took that to heart because I really I've been telling you guys I don't want to show anyone else till I'm married. But just in community of my church saying, like, don't even share that testimony till you're married. I really agree. But it's such a beautiful love story. And God willing, 
if you know we do end up getting married next year that I am able to share my testimony with you guys if not whatever like the story's still beautiful and if it doesn't work out then I'll tell you the story of just how it even was confirmed you know when my partner had planted the seed of like hey you should get baptized he helps with baptisms at another campus of my church so my church has like a few campuses he was like you know I could this is one of the funniest things this is before we were dating and we were just like feeling each other out he was like I'll baptize you and in my head, I was like, that's the hottest thing I've ever heard in my life. I must have given him a look because he's like, wait, wait. He's like, I'm not ordained. No, no, no. I'm the person who like announces the names at my campus. I remember going home on the drive home and I called all my friends. I called my mom. I was like, y'all, this man just said he would baptize me. That's the hottest thing I've ever heard. Like it was like my mom was literally like, you must be really into church because I don't think that's as hot as you think it is. I'm like, no, it's that's pretty like like you want me to enter like this new phase of life with God and you. I don't know, just something about it was just hot. He was like, oh no, I can't actually baptize you. I'm not ordained, but I am the one who announces the names and I would be there with you just to kind of like see your baptism. And through that walk, uh, I, I was praying as I'm like starting to really consider baptism and through the walk, I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, God, if I go get, I like, I really want to get baptized at my campus. One, two, I really want to be, I want my baptism to be about my relationship with God and not because a man told me to get baptized. And that's what I kind of told him when he first planted this seed. I was like, I don't want to do it because you brought it up to me. And then, and I think that's why it took so many months too. I mean, there've been baptisms in between. And I think it just took that long because I needed to make sure it was for me. I think the seed can be planted through whoever, whether I'm dating them, whether they're a friend, but I don't even, even if it was a friend, I don't want to get baptized because a friend told me to get baptized. You know, that's weird to me. And so I'm really just grateful i do take life pretty much day by day now and i and there's a song called not in a hurry i'll put a screenshot up and whenever i feel like i'm rushing life i make sure to listen to this there's another song called quiet and these songs for me and my anxiety are very helpful because they're they're reminders to just let god lead let god be make room let god move how he's gonna move through him and yes he may use people in your life to bring you to these new heights but let he will be the one to drive the car you know he may send people to like help you along the route and on your map and find, give you direction but he's the one ultimately driving it was so beautiful like in my head i was like oh that would be so beautiful like if i go to his church and or go to his campus and he's the one announcing my name like that would be so beautiful in the love story and what i realized in that was it was no longer about god and it was no longer about this new level of all the work i've done with god and our relationship it became about the story and this beautiful story that God's been writing, I would then be taking the pen and I didn't wanna do that. God has brought me through so much and been my friend through so many areas of my life where he didn't need to be. Got me through so much and taken me to new levels and successes you guys have seen, obviously, right? And so it's just like, it didn't feel like it was about anybody else but my relationship with God. It was more of like a, I just wanted to publicly say thank you. And I want to acknowledge you that even through everything I've been through, it's always been you. You know, just having that moment about me and God was just, and not about him, was just really, really beautiful. I'm excited for like this new walk, whatever that means. I've been struggling a lot with my platform because things I've posted, I can't post the things I used to post. I don't want to post the things I used to post. Finding new boundaries for myself. What am I willing to share? What am, what am I willing not to? What am I willing to wear? What am I willing not to? This year has been incredibly, incredibly tough on me. Canceling contracts I've had with ideas I no longer align with, with huge organizations, with huge businesses, with clothing companies I don't align with, and just living more in my value and truth. It's been incredibly difficult because it cost me. It cost me financially. And the theme of this year is I don't care what anything costs me. I don't care if you take all this away. I don't care if I got to live in my mama's house as long as I'm using your will. And what baptism, and I know it's only been 24 hours, but what baptism has taught me is what you're willing to give up for my love is exactly what I'm going to use to spread my love. Because there's a lot of shame. Like, you guys know I have a Porsche. <laughs> One video bought that Porsche and I struggle with that because in my shame, like I think we hold a lot more, I think we hold a lot more shame for ourselves than God holds over us. I don't think he condemns us the way maybe we condemn ourselves sometimes, but sometimes I'll just be driving my car and I'll be like, I know what this costs me. And I remember going through a phase of like, God, do I sell my car? Do I sell my car? And financially it didn't make sense like to sell my car because you know, interest rates are crazy now and cars are expensive and we're like literally in a recession. But just going through phases where I'll be driving down the road and I'll think about the video that bought my car and I'll be like, 
oh my gosh. But something really, really beautiful that I've been learning through going through my shame for the past year and a half. Honestly, selling my soul, I felt like I sold my soul. Like the sex series was fantastic and it got the message I wanted to get across in the first two videos. But what happened was, is I ended up getting year long contracts with various companies to continue to talk about it. And that was never the plan. I wanted to provide confidence in a bedroom because as a bigger girl, when I used to wear t-shirts in the bedroom, I wanted you guys to know like, you don't need to do that. And I'm so proud of what the series was able to do in the beginning and where it took a turn for me is when I started signing dotted lines. When I started saying, sure, I'll take that for a monthly fee to continue to talk about this. It no longer became about my vision for confidence. It became about, yes, I'm gonna also capitalize my confidence. And I don't want to do that anymore. I do not want to do that anymore. It just does not align with me. And that year, 2021 was the hardest year of my life because of that. Because every time I would have to post a video of something of sexual nature when I was over it, you guys were over it. I mean, I, you guys were probably over it because I was over it in my videos. It, it served its purpose. But when I started signing dotted lines, it all changed. And so one beautiful thing I've been learning in salvation is, I feel like God was telling me I was able to do all of that through something that you found shameful. Can you imagine what I'm gonna do through you in, in newness, in the new things that I have for you, in the aligned things I have for you? And that feels like such a powerful word. Stop letting what you've gone through determine where you're going. Baptism for me was that turning point. It was like, I've let these things go, but it still felt anchored. And for whatever happened when I was dipped in that water, it was just like, it's done. It happened publicly. And I'm glad it publicly happened because watch what, how I publicly am able to turn this around through Christ. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited for what that means. I've been stewarding over Curve Hall. I've been stewarding over my purpose and my confidence and working. You guys know I took a really big hit in my confidence this year. And I've just been stewarding these values of mine and surrendering them because this has just been a tough year. You know, letting go of material, letting go of financial, letting go of these things I'm holding so hard onto, you know, just everything, just the past year, really. R relationships that didn't service me, contracts that don't service me, posting things that don't service me or service God's will. It's like, I'm done. I'm done with that. I felt very lost in my content. And I took a little, I took a little hiatus a little bit. I've been posting, you know, I've been posting, um, posting just to keep up, but I've been posting like not my normal content this year. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been posting just very like diary, like content, like whatever I want to talk about today. And there's something that's been brewing out of that. That's so beautiful. This like change in this movement forward. Every time I've gone through life, not knowing where I'm going. I've been exactly where I needed to be. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to just see how God uses me even through this video. I did not expect to be used so quickly, just even with posting, I got a baptism and people being like, oh, I've been wanting to go to union. Glad to see it. Like maybe this is my sign to go or I should get baptized. Like I can never control how God's gonna use me. And just knowing that I've been used like me, the girl with so many shameful things behind my name can be restored and renewed. I don't know who else out there needs to be restored and renewed and feels like they're not good enough for it. And I'm here to tell you that you are. If you've been called, if that's your desire, you are allowed to be restored. You're allowed to be renewed. And I want you to know as you're on your journey and maybe you are where I was a year ago that you're already loved. <laughs> like you're already overly abundantly loved than you could ever, ever, ever imagine. So don't think it's something you need to be good for or earn. It's already yours. And I hope that on your journey, you can just pivot your mind to understand that glory is already yours.